Okay. And I'm going to add, this is with Mr. Kong in his home at Levi. He was one of the survivors. Um, it was amazing. He was amazing. It was wonderful meeting him and being in his home. It was very special. And you were, like you said, it was dumb luck to be there at the right time in the right place? Yeah, well, Susan had made contact with him. She had read his book, and she talked to him, and I just happened to be standing right there And when he said, you know, he wanted to take us to his house. And we just all go walking down the street and walking into his house, and... Um, he was wonderful. And that was just right outside the Milai uh, site where we, well, we, where we were, had we the were, celebration. Um, close, to the, close to the museum. He had been the director of the museum there, I think, since it was built. I, I mean, my understanding is that he had been there for a very long time, and they only recently took that away from him in anticipation. I, I, clearly, there was some politics involved. I didn't get the story on that, but um, anyway, but, so he's no longer the director of the museum there he, he, since he's retired, but I mean, just well, anything. thank you. Well, yeah. yeah, that's, it's and also, You know, and also seeing the, seeing the, 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 the golden dedication, I mean, you know. Hi, yeah, it's really, it really I is mean, hard to really, say one thing. I, well, but the thing of it is, is that we were incredibly fortunate. I mean, not that many people were in that Pagoda dedication. Yeah. And my understanding is that's the thing. I mean, he was talking about it too, Mr. Punk. That's the, now they have a place to rest. I mean, that's very big in this culture. And they didn't have a place to rest until they had that Pagoda. That's the way I felt too. Yeah, I it was very too. moving. I'm sure there's tons of other stuff, but... but. Thanks.